Okay, guys, we're starting our last lesson in Chapter 6. So this is called Graphing Systems of Inequalities. And here are the steps. Anytime you're graphing, make sure it's in this format that you're familiar with. This, the B, is your y-intercept. And the M is your slope. And remember on your slope, it's rise over run. Okay, so greater than or less than, you should have a dashed line. If it's got the greater than or equal or less than or equal, you'll have a solid line when graphing. Um, remember shading, if it's greater than in any combination here, you shade up above the line. Always think of the sun as being up. and the ground being at the bottom. Should do grass. Anyway, if it's less than or less than or equal, you, you shade below the line. To check your shading, you can pick a point and plug it into your both of your uh, equations to see if it's true for each. Right. So let's go ahead and start. Now, of course, you can do this on Desmos, and we'll get to that, but I need to make sure you have this practice. So again, here is my B or my Y-intercept. I'll box that out, and here's my slope. So my y-intercept is a positive 2, 1, 2. My slope, I like to write that it's 2 over 1 because it has to be a fraction. So that means up 2 over 1. Now, since I can't go any further and I'd like to have three points, I can change both of these to negatives because two negatives equal a positive. So I can go downwards 2 into my left one and still be along that line. I'm going to use a straight edge because that's important. And I needed a dotted line because of that inequality sign. So I'm just going to do a kind of like a dashed or dotted line. Like that. And it says less than. So if this is my sunshine is up here. And then down here is my grass or my flowers. I'm going to do grass because it's faster. My ground is here. That means up is up here. And I'm going to do this kind of lightly. Don't go crazy with that. The next one, here is my y-intercept, and here is my slope. Well, that just says negative x. What does that mean? Negative 1 or negative 1 over 1. Okay, so I'm going to start at a negative 3, and I'm going to go downwards 1 over 1, downwards 1 over 1. Okay, get that graphed. This is a solid line because of the greater than or equal to, so it will look like that. And this is greater, so where's my sunshine? This way. And where do they share the shading? Hopefully you can see it. It's in this block right here is where their shading overlaps. And you can really see this on Desmos, but again, you need to know how to do this on your own. Next one. This one is not in the y uh, equals, y equals mx plus b, so we need to turn it into that. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So I have y is greater than or equal to a negative 2x plus 4. Oh, that was easy. y-intercept, my slope, and again, I like to write my slope, so I have it as a fraction of the rise and run. I'm going to start at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, downwards 2, positive 1, downwards 2, positive 1. Get that straight edge. It says uh, it's a solid line because the greater than or equal to. And then it says um, greater than. So where's my sunshine? Up. Which side is up? side. Okay, on this next one, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I end up with 2y is greater than a negative x minus 4. Divide 2 to everything. So y is greater than a negative 1 half x minus 2. 
y-intercept, slope. Start at negative 2, go down 1, positive 2, down 1, positive 2. This time it's a dotted line because of the greater than sign. It's kind of like that open dot, close dot thing. Dotted line. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. And it's greater, so that's upwards, right? And where do they share the upwards? All of this stuff right there. Everything here is upwards. Okay. I'm going to do the next two in Desmos. If I can flip it over where you guys can see it. I'm not for sure you can. Let's see if I can get Desmos to record. I don't think you can see this. Because that is not on your screen. Okay, well, maybe that didn't work out as, as I wanted it. But I'd like for you to go to Desmos Graphing and punch these two in. Now, when you're punching these two in, the greater than, if you look down, you'll see like a little straight down on your Desmos Graphing calculator. You'll see like a little keyboard. And if you click on that little keyboard, it'll give you like the greater than or equal sign. And then you can type in your negative 3x plus 1. And then on your next one, you're going to say y is less than or equal to negative 3x minus 2. And you might have to grab your graph and drag it and kind of look at it. So on this one, um, you will see if I look drag mine and look at a couple important points it goes to 0 1 so 0 1 and it also goes to let's see what's another point it's going to do do I'm going to follow this along until I get an actual point do 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 1 negative 2 so 1 negative 2 so here's one of the lines. And if I look in Desmos, it's a solid line. So solid line. And it's shading it this way. On the other one, I need to try to find an exact point. And sometimes I just need to follow it along. Follow it along. Is that two, negative two, four. So negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And follow it along the other way. Ooh, it's got a y-intercept of 0, negative 2. Here. Connect those. Again, it's a solid line. But it's going the other way. So the shading is going the other way. So hopefully you understand that they share no solutions. This next one, it's good that you see this on um, Desmos as well. But we need to set up this equation. You can work at most 20 hours next e week. So you need to earn at least $92 to cover your weekly expenses. So you have your dog walking job pays this per hour. So that's a variable per X. And your job as a car wash attendant pays $6 per Y. Write a system of linear inequalities and then graph them to represent the solutions to the situation. So I am going to, um, I know it's 750X plus $6Y must earn at least, so that's greater than or equal to 92. Now, at the beginning, it says both of these hours together, so the hours alone, x plus y, needs to be at most. So that's at most is less than or equal to 20. So those are the two equations. So now that I have my equations, 
I can go and graph these in Desmos. So I want you to jump on Desmos and graph these yourself, and then we'll graph them here. So again, I'm putting 750 x plus 6y, and again, I need that keyboard um, on Desmos, so on down, uh, greater than or equal to 92. Okay, my next one, see, if I look at it, I'm looking at my y-intercepts. Do I have my y-intercepts? 0, 15.33. So I have to remember that. So my y-intercept, well, I'll get to that in a minute, and let's do the other one. I'm trying to show you how to do this. The next one is x plus y is less than or equal to 20. All right, so what I'm going to do is to do my own graph. I can see that it's going up by twos on the X and Y on my graph. Now, if you want to zoom in, um, and if you think that you have more than 20 here, which I don't think we do, so I am gonna go up by twos on both. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 14, 16, 18, 20. And I'm going to do the same here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now, if I look at my graph, I see that I am on the 20 on the Y. So right on 20 on the Y. So I'm going to put a dot here. And that line on the X crosses at 20. So this one goes 20 to 20. So I'm going to draw a solid line there. Okay. Now the other one is a little bit trickier. So I'm going to go straight to my Y intercept. And it's 0, 15.33. So... 15 would be between 14 and 16, so I'm going to put it somewhere here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then on my x axis, it is 12.3. Uh, so 12.3 here. And then that again was a solid. What part do they share? You can see that this is the combination of hours and the two jobs that she can work. So that combination. So she can work uh, zero hours at this job and 12 hours at this job and get there. Or she can work any combination of these solutions that it's inside here. So that's how you would do that. The key is making sure you know how to do this and know how to do this in Desmos would be helpful. Anytime you're graphing, of course, you need your X labeled, your Y labeled. Typically, we need some sort of a title and then other labels. So this might be, since this is my X, what did we say our X was? Our X was dog walking. And our Y was car wash hours. So something like that. So definitely need all of those items. And we're going to get to scatter plots on this next chapter, where you will need to come up with your own, just like we did here. All right. Happy assignments. Feel free to use Desmos as much as possible.